we're told a quadratic function f has two real solutions, x equals negative three and x equals five, that make f of x equals zero. Select the equations that could define f in standard form. So pause this video and have a go at that before we do this together. All right, so there's a bunch of ways you could approach this, but the way that I think about it is, we can express this quadratic in terms of its two solutions. So you could have x minus the first solution, and the first solution here is when x is equal to negative three, and then times x minus the second solution when x is equal to five. Now why does this work? Well think about it, if x is equal to negative three right here, and if I were to subtract another negative three, well then this is going to be equal to zero. Zero times anything is zero, and then f of negative three would be zero. Similarly, if x were equal to five here, well then this whole thing would be equal to zero. Zero times anything is zero, so f of five is zero. Now this is a definition of the quadratic, but it is not in standard form. Standard form, as a reminder, would be some constant times x squared, plus some other constant times bx, plus some other constant. So to get there, we have to multiply this out. And actually before we do that, let me just simplify a little bit. This is going to be equal to x, when I subtract a negative three, that's the same thing as adding three, and then times x minus five. So x plus three times x minus five. And now we can expand this out so we get it to standard form. So this is going to be equal to x times x, which is x squared. We have x times negative five, which is negative five x. We have three times x, which is three x. And then we have three times negative five, which is minus 15, or negative 15, or we're gonna subtract 15 here. And so last but not least, we have x squared. And if, I have, if I'm subtracting five x, and I, then I add three x, that is negative two x minus 15. So this is f of x in standard form. Now let's see which of these choices gets me this. So when I look over here, well what's interesting is all of these have a coefficient of either two or negative two. I don't see that over here. So what is happening here is I can multiply this whole thing by a two or a negative two and it's not going to change where my zeros are. Why is that? Well, think about it. If I had a two over here, when x is equal to five, this is going to be zero times something times two, it's still going to be equal to zero. Similarly, if that were a negative two. So I'm going to have the same zeros if I multiply it by really any number that is not zero. So let's do that. So if I were to multiply this equation by positive two, I need to multiply all of them by two. I'm running out of space. So I'll do it up here. We would get f of x is equal to two times x squared is two x squared. Two times negative two x is negative four x. Two times negative 15 is negative 30. That's one way we could think about it. Another way we could say maybe f of x is going to be equal to, and to be clear, these are not the same functions. When I multiply it by two or negative two, it does fundamentally change the function, but they would have the same zeros. They would have the same two real solutions at x equals negative three and x equals five. So if I were to say, well maybe instead of this, f of x could be this times negative two. Once again, it's a different f of, it's a different function in these situations. I'm just trying to find out all of the possibilities. And there could be many more. I could multiply it by three or negative three or anything else. But if I were to multiply this by negative two, I would get negative two x squared, negative two times negative two x is positive four x, negative two times negative 15 is positive 30. So I'm gonna say it one more time. The three things that I'm boxing off here, these three possible functions, these are all different functions. If I were to graph it, they would all look different, but they all have the same two real solutions, x equals negative three and x equals five. So now let's see which choices match up. 2x squared minus 4x minus 30. 2x squared minus 4x minus 30, I like this one right here. And then negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 30. Negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 30. I like this one here as well, so I'm done.